their CASPA update, right? We have these RSIs possibly showing something going on here. We're going to take a look at here in a second. Yesterday's video, we went over this. One, two, three, four, and a five. All right, and if you've been watching these videos for a long time, which a lot of you have, you know that an ABC normally comes after that. All right, we have our five waves up, and we have an ABC. All right, over here. Uh, it's just normal. All right, we had, uh, you know, if you count the wave structure in here, two, three, four, five. And after the five waves up, uh, you have an ABC come in. A, B, C. Of course, that one didn't go where we were expecting it to. It fell a little short. And, uh, you know, uh, that one did not work out. So that one there just bugs me. It should have came down lower. But anyway, we talked about the five waves here and a possible ABC. All right, but we have some RSIs doing some things in here I'm going to show you. All right, the CASPA uh, over on coin market cap volume is down 28.8% to uh, roughly 18 million bucks. I love this guy's uh, quote right here. I miss bowl season so much. I miss the projects that make a 10x a day. And bowl season is just around the corner. Bitcoin is being prepared. CASPA is performing well, which is exciting. So this guy's been through a bull run, obviously. Uh, the 10x is a day. Um, that's what I said. That when it, it was crazy. I, I had no idea what crypto could do. Um, I bought in the bear market, and I thought, what the heck? I'll give you know, I'll give it a shot. I threw some money at it, and uh, when the, the bull run started, um, it's. You'll see. If you haven't been through one, just opening up your wallet every day is uh, is like Christmas. Like you're opening up a, a new present that you've been sitting there staring at for you know two years. So um, it's it's a lot of fun. Just it's it's great. All right. So let's move on here, guys. Nine hundred eighty-six million dollar market cap over here. Uh, One hundred thousand followers. Thanks to the entire Casper community, we hit 100,000 followers on CoinMarketCap. Your energy and support made this amazing achievement possible. But we all know we're just getting started. So how about that? 100,000 followers on CoinMarketCap. Big, big accomplishment. Uh, the Block Explorer. This is the thing I wanted to point out. Almost 24 petahash. This thing is, uh, you know, a, a month ago or whatever. Remember, this thing was at 17. So... Definitely, uh, the thing is, uh, the petahash is definitely ticking up. 1.8 transactions a second, 1.8 blocks a second. $985 million market cap. And, uh, you know, the, like I've shown before, this is live activity, live buying and, uh, you know, transactions on the blockchain. So let's move on here. Um, we got that. All right, this article I'm going to show you guys. Pretty good article, all right? It's written by B and Crypto. Nice site. Uh, got a lot of nice stuff over here. Breaking. Caspa price reaches new all-time high. How long will it continue increasing? The Caspa price reached a new all-time high at .054 on September 20th. However, it has fallen since. The wave count suggests that a local top has been reached. Our five waves that we just did. Therefore, a short-term correction will follow before the increase continues. And what I'm talking about an ABC over here, guys. I'm talking about a small ABC, not one of these, uh, not one of these big hammers that uh, draw you down, you know, 40 percent. Okay, I'm talking about a small ABC in here, you know, possibly, uh, you know, the four cent range somewhere around there. I haven't really measured anything out. Uh, an increase above 0 0.054 will mean that the correction is already complete. In that case, the price can move to the next resistance at 0 0.064. Not sure where he's getting that, unless, uh, you know, it could be putting a fib maybe on this. I'm just curious because 0 0.0, oh yeah, that's what he's doing. 0 0.064 right there in the blue line. All right, so he's putting a Fibonacci on here and going by the extensions, okay? Um, this full extension out here is at 11 and a half cents. So that's where the Fib, you know, I'm not the only one. Uh, this Fibonacci is, 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 is the toll, okay? So you can see the next resistance up there, 0 0.064, um, right there. All right, if we go down through the article here, 
Uh, Casper price reaches a new all-time high. The Casper price has been moving upwards since May 23rd. Over 76 days, the price has increased by roughly a 3.5x, reaching an all-time high of 0 0.052. The increase was decisively bullish, showing a clear five-wave upward movement. That's what we just measured out back there, according to the Elliott wave count. This indicates the trend is bullish. Elliott wave theory involves the analysis of reoccurring long-term price patterns and investor psychology to determine the direction of the trend. After the high, the Casper price fell in what is likely an ABC structure, just like we went over back here, uh, you know, a smaller ABC. The crypto has increased since and reached a new all-time high, 0.054 on September 20th. However, instead of validating the 0 0.05 area as resistance, Casper fell below it. I think they meant support there. Uh, instead of validating the 5 cent area as support, Caspa fell below it, allowing for the possibility of an invalid breakout. The daily RSI suggests that a decrease is likely, at least in the short term. The RSI is a momentum indicator used by traders to evaluate whether a market is overbought or oversold and to determine whether to accumulate or sell an asset. That's what we use every day on here, guys. Stochastic RSI and a regular RSI. We use this every single time when we make a video. Readings above 50 and an upward trend suggest that bulls still have an advantage, while readings below 50 indicate the opposite. While the indicator is above 50, it is falling. Also, it has generated bearish divergence, a sign associated with local and absolute tops. There's the bearish divergence we talked about yesterday. All right, so obviously I'm not the, uh, the only one that's seen that, okay, on the daily we talked about this here. Let's get this bib up here. All right, we talked about this high here, and then the all-time high was the next one, lower, bearish divergence. You had a higher high on the RSI, then a lower high. A higher high here and a higher high in price, okay? So uh, the bearish divergence. While the daily time frame analysis can be considered bullish, the six hour chart suggests that an initial retracement is likely before the increase continues. The main reason for this is the significant bearish divergence. Uh, this signifies a loss of momentum and suggests that more downside is expected. Furthermore, the RSI has now fallen below 50, a sign of a bearish trend. Uh, the most likely wave count suggests that Caspa has completed a five wave increase and is now correcting at an ABC structure. The most likely level for this correction is to end between uh, to end is between the 0.5 and, oh, and the 0.618 fib level supports at uh, 0.04 cents and 0.043. This would be a 12 percent drop from uh, the current price. So he's uh, the 618, the 50% fib. All right, if we go over here, show you what uh, he's talking about here, right? And this is all in the trading lessons, guys, that we have for level three over there. If you're interested, until the end of the month here, they're uh, 14.99. So here's the 618 uh, right at uh, 0 0.0409. And uh, the 50% is up here, right there at 0 0.043. That's the two areas he's talking about there. All right, the uh, 0 0.04 and 0 0.043. Afterwards, an increase towards a new time high can occur, a new all-time high. Despite the bearish short-term price prediction, a movement above the current all-time high, 0 0.054, will mean that the trend is still bullish. In that case, the price can increase to the next high at 0 0.065 an increase of 40% measuring from the current price. Oops, excuse me. So uh, yeah, 0 0.065, that's where he's getting them prices. Um, like I said, this the Fibonacci guys, this thing is a uh, is a toll from the Lord. I, I believe that for traders, it's, it is a, uh, it's almost like a cheat sheet thing, you know? Put the Fib on here. 064 is what he was talking about for the next uh, resistance area and uh, you know if we take it let's put the fib on the previous high and see if it had any uh, really had didn't reach any 
because we just barely set an all time high here. You know, just barely uh, took out this last one over here. So eh, we're not going to use that. But you can see where they get the next resistance area up at 0 0.06. Six and roughly six and a half cents, six four, somewhere right around there. All right, uh, a couple other things I got to show you guys real quick, and then we're good, we'll get back into this chart. The bubbles, pretty right out there today. Uh, not a lot, uh, not a lot happening. That's because Bitcoin's having a little bit of a pullback. Uh, it's down, what's five hundred and some bucks here? Let's take a look. Bitcoin, yeah, minus five forty. All right, that's the weekly. Look how it got bashed hit that resistance and got rejected all right right off of it isn't that amazing how them trend lines work resistance and support they work someone's car alarm going off we'll give that a second to stop i have no idea uh the neighbors it's always something when i make a video a dog barking a cricket you know always something going on but anyway we'll move on here we got the daily rsi pulling down for bitcoin all right so it's at a uh this this area right here 26.5 uh, you know if it they don't want to see it lose that all right it was resistance here or yeah resistance you know resistance all through here wanted to see that flip that as support we talked about that yesterday you know an rs flip um so the daily we have coming down the weekly though we have turning up here so that's the one we're counting on need to see bitcoin make a move this thing has just been flat all right just sideways in here you know after this first um initial push here which you know if you're going with elliott waves all right with it with bitcoin here you would have one two three or just barely a fifth wave okay then you would add an ABC come in here let's look on the daily let's see if whoops want to put that back let's lock that so I don't do that again all right did we have an ABC come in here let's take a measurement here and see that only got to the 50% no, not really, no. We haven't yet. So, um, technically, this thing could come up. Let's take a look at this here. I'm going to take it from there. Yeah. Yeah, it hit the 618 right here. You know, if we do an ABC in here, this thing, uh, you know, could pull down... Could end up pulling down to twenty three thousand bucks, you know. Technically, if uh, if that's how it plays out, we'll see. You know, we had that fifth wave up here, all right. That we're taking a measurement off this high, came down, hit the six one eight right here. You know, if it pulls down on top of there, and it does, uh, especially on this daily, you know, if it does an A, B, C, we'll see. We'll see what happens. 23,000. Boy, that would shake some people out, huh? That would uh, that'd definitely be a little scary. Bitcoin dominance, not doing a whole lot. It's down a quarter of a percent. Uh, let's see here. The Dixie. Boy, that thing is just ripping, isn't it? Look at that support line it's holding. Just ripping right up there. So far, holding that support. Uh, the daily looks like it wants to curve back up again. So, uh, that, that could hurt us a little bit. That could hurt everything as far as that goes. Uh, gold's down 10 bucks. 1920, that daily is rolling over. All right, you can see there. Um, it's, if you're going with a, uh, you know, you got this high, lower high, lower, or lower low, I'm sorry, lower high. Then you got, uh, I don't know if you consider that a higher low here. Look to see. That's why I'd rather just look at the weekly. Regardless of anything, you had this high here, okay? You had this low, then you had a lower high, and a lower low, then another lower high, all right? So I'm expecting, still watching for this thing. The weekly's rolling over, 
All right, so looking for this to come down to that 1800 bucks. Been waiting for it for a while here. So we got the weekly rolling over now and the daily. So watch for gold to take a tumble here. All right, let's go to Casper here. Got some stuff going on here with this RSI and stuff here. And I wanted to put that trend line on here yesterday, this blue line. Um, I apologize, I forgot to put it on there. But you can see here, okay, um, these blue lines, support line, all right, you follow a trend up, and when it breaks that line, something has changed, all right, we broke that line, this thing has come up, and back tested the point zero four nine a little bit as resistance here, all right, this is what, we're looking for a bottom to come in here for an ABC, all right, so if this thing bottoms out here, all right, we would be looking for a pullback up to the 618, and then a final rollover, right? That would be up at uh, 0 0.051, and that that would be you would have your A, your B up to the 618, and where would this C end up? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Cool. Yeah, that's that would be uh, you know the uh, the good the better case scenario, you know, a shorter ABC. He was talking about down to the point. Uh, you know, 618 Fib retracement, which, you know, if we go out here, that would be a little bit deeper of a correction. You know, 618 is down here at 0 0.04, but I don't know if I see it going down that low. You know, the uh, you got the 12-hour RSI almost reset. Okay, this is almost at the bottom. You got the 8-hour almost reset, and the 8 is 16. And you got the four hour it is reset. It's bullish. It's at a nine and a six. So are we going uh are we going for a new all time high here? Where's the daily? Alright, the daily is at a forty seven and a sixty, trying to curve back up here. Alright. Uh this is not uh you know, this is kind of a it's kind of an odd, you know, this is what you normally would expect from a daily right here, straight down. Uh, you can see how this thing, uh, even as we went up and set the new all-time high, this thing was coming down. So we'll see if this we can get this uh, to curve back up here. And that would help, you know, that would get rid of this bearish divergence stuff too. We'd get a higher high in here, get this price a higher high, and uh, that would get rid of all that bearish stuff that's uh, been going on here with the RSI chart. Okay, all right, so let's take a look. Uh, like I said, the weekly is still still in good shape, 47 and a 41. All right, still got that lower high down here. Want to see that uh, that taken out, that bearish divergence. Now the ABC that he's talking about, this thing would have that would mean that the A leg does not have a bottom yet. Okay, um, that would pull that A. We're gonna put it. Well, you'd be talking. You know, something like that probably we see let me measure this out with I just want to take a quick look here guys and see what this would all right that would put that C leg yeah, right about where he's talking, you know, four cents. That's what um, he was talking about, okay, retrace down to the 618. Very possible, you know, I'm hoping for the shallower ABC. Actually, I'm hoping for this thing just to rip up here and validate this uh, correction altogether and set a new high. And, and that could absolutely happen, especially, um, like I said, the 12-hour is almost reset okay uh the 12 the 8 is at the bottom all right so this this means that we're getting to the oversold area and that's when price pushes back up when your rsi is at the bottom price increases most of the time that's how it's supposed to work the four hour is already starting back up okay so we got the four eight and twelve uh all heading up we got the weekly rsi still heading up the daily is the one uh that's pulling back here so like uh like we talked about 
all right an invalidation of this would obviously be a new all-time high all right anything above the 0 0.053 right up here 0 0.054 that would invalidate a correction right now quite honestly i think anything above uh if we pull this out anything above a 702 fib level in here 0 0.052 call it um we're probably going to get another all-time high all right so keep an eye on that uh 0 0.052 I think if we break above that, we're probably going to set another all-time high, all right? Because that's usually the 618 or 702 is usually your your B leg. That's where it usually stops, and then your C leg will come down, all right? So we'll see what happens here. I this I believe we've hit a bottom. If we're doing an ABC, I believe the A leg is is probably in, all right? If we are, this we should pull probably back up to the point zero. 5 1 area and then our C leg would come in and the correction would be over. All right, these are these bigger the 12, the 8, and the 4 are almost all reset. All right, so this thing it could be heading for another all time high. This is it's looking bullish on them time frames. The only one it's not is the daily, that's the one that is pulling down. But this thing, if it starts, uh, you know, if it starts that curve back up here then uh then i think we're heading for another all-time high but caspa is just looking strong it really is you know it violated this line but uh they they do that you know you'll get a fake out and then it'll work back in the trend and, and keep going so we'll see what happens guys this it, we could be getting a, another new all-time high here if not we have a short abc correction to, to complete down to 0 0.044 um and then that should be over i believe our a leg is in um so keep an area keep an eye on like i said keep an eye on um that's 702 level wait zero five two all right point zero five two two call it if we break above that uh, we're probably heading to a new all-time high. All right, guys, thank you so much. Please hit the like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Have a great day, everybody.